Okay, I have been receiving a lot of messages concerning American Civil War Brother versus Brothers mod for Empire Total War. This is a mod that I have made a Let's Play on my channel. It's a very, very nice and very neat mod. And an another thing that is very important to take into account here is that not all but most of the mods that i have showcased are pretty much very old mods and that doesn't mean that the mod is not good it's um, five stars but the thing is that it is pretty difficult to get patches or to get uh, fixes eventually in most of my videos and in the majority of the responses that I give, I recommend simply to save often. It is very important to save with uh, F5, which is a quick uh, save, and then to do a normal save. And that way, just before you end the turn, and that way you are always going to have a backup if something happens in between turns. And that is something that we have to live with if we want to deal with mods. And the other thing is that the mod has been abandoned. This means that there is not going to be anything to be done for the actual issues that the mod has. What is perhaps the, the only issue that... Uh, that American Civil War Brother versus Brother has is perhaps the fact that it could crash suddenly. Even the developer on the page on ModDB states that he doesn't know why the mod crashes. Okay, with that out of the way, let's open up here the launcher. So here we have the launcher of American Civil War Brothers versus Brothers. It is very important to note the following. You have to have open Steam for this to work. If you want to play the mod, you have to do it with Steam open. And you have to do everything that we're going to do right now with this launcher. You have to make sure that Steam is open. It is very important that step. Okay, we see right now that here we have two buttons and then we see the warpath. It says warpath. If you go to campaigns, you have to make sure that warpath is selected. It's very important. The next thing that you have to make sure here in submods is that zones of recruitment is selected. Now, if, you, if I click here, eventually... This is how you are going to see this when you just install the mod. So you have to click here and it's going to, to put the zones of, rec of recruitment with the checkbox. But you have to uncheck and then check the box again. That is important to, to take into account. So follow that step. Okay, with that being said, we have to select which faction we want to play. I have already played with the Union, and in my previous fix video that I did, I showed you that if you click here, you're going to get it patched on the actual folders, and if you click here, you're going to get patched to the Confederates. I'm going to do with the confederates because everyone wants to play with the confederates and they are having a lot of problems with the confederates. So you just click here and you just wait for this button to copy all the necessary files into the folder for us to be able to play with the confederates. Now, it's going to take a while and then it's going to say that Empire Total War is launching. Eventually, the launcher is going to launch Empire Total War and you're going to get this screen. Total War Empire has stopped working and you're going to have to close the program. I'm pretty sure that this is the screen that 
all the people that is having issues are getting so you just close the program and eventually you're going to be unable you're not going to be able to continue but it doesn't matter because right now we have selected this and the launcher has pasted all the files on empire total war for us to play with the confederates so simply what we have to do is not to close the launcher make sure that you don't close the launcher okay make sure that you don't close the launcher you just minimize the launcher and you have to maintain steam open and the launcher open so now what we're going to do we're going to go into the folder of empire total war here in the empire total war folder you have to follow the steps that i just gave in my previous video when i did the fix video and you can copy this and you're going to get something like this okay now that you get this you're going to open not from steam but from here the actual game so you double click here you're going to give the permissions and we're going to be sent into the game okay now we're going to be received with the main screen we see here that it says the logo of the mod and we know that we are on the mod so we go to single player you go to civil war campaign and you're going to see here the flag of the faction that you just selected on the launcher make sure that this is the confirmation that confederate states has been selected do not press here do not go to the other faction because there's no point in doing that you're not going to be able to play with the with the faction that you have not selected on the actual launcher so here is just the confirmation so you go start game and everything is going to be there okay so now we are on the map we can see that we are loaded into the mod an important thing to take into account is that i have mentioned this before you're not going to get any any fleets any agents or any armies the mod comes completely empty so you will have to recruit the actual units yourself now it's important there's another step for you not to have problems just at the beginning evidently you're going to you're going to need to follow the save constantly advice because for there's nothing we can do sometimes it's going to crash but i have a test that but i have but i can tell you that the matches that i had and all the campaigns that i have played in this mod i haven't had a lot of problems it is a pretty good it's not a completely stable but it's very difficult for you to get a crush if you follow the steps and the most important step is the following do not recruit on the first turn do not declare war on the first turn just to make sure that everything is going to run well so you end the turn the first the first turn you end it like this you just wait for for the situation do not engage in in diplomatic relations for the first turn that's another thing that i'm going to say just to make sure that everything is okay and up to this point we can do whatever we want so we go here we can start building we can go and recruit i'm going to take uh, for example the quickest way to recruit i'm going no this this one is not the, the quickest way to recruit uh, let's see we have two turns here something that that will give me for one turn this thing so i'm going to recruit this and i'm just going to wait a couple of turns is going to be okay because with um with this we can just check if everything it's okay i'm just randomly going to accept anything i'm just going to continue the turns so we're going to wait for the union to start recruiting something i don't see that they have recruited something we have a pretty good army here we're going to move these guys hard these guys here okay and we're going to end the turn as you can see the mod is um is progressing everything is working good there haven't been any crashes i'm just doing this as i have recorded it so now we can see troops here so i can attack this so i'm going to declare war and i'm going to go to war just to just to check that everything is okay 
okay so hopefully this is going to make you enjoy the mod with the confederates i think the confederates are very fun to play with it opens the possibilities of an alternate history and of course if this was useful for you give a like share the video and uh, subscribe we need to increase the followers this was victus see you in the next one